This animal right here is one bad mother shut your mouth. There are about 14 subspecies of red-tailed hawks with different morphs and colors, but all nonetheless the same species. Most red-tailed hawks have wider undersides with a dark belly band that varies in size. By that, it's like a it's actually like a speckled strip across their belly that's like usually like a brown, dark brown, but it can vary in, in how big the belly band is. It's like a band across their belly. That's one way to identify them. The red-tailed hawk is one of three species that is called a chicken hawk due to farmers having to defend their chickens from birds of prey. Though, the red-tailed hawk rarely preys on standard-sized chickens, and rodents make up about 85% of its diet. Female red tails are 25% bigger than the males. The younglings actually have bigger tails than the adults, and their tails aren't quite red yet, but with a more brownish color. They are also monogamous like many species of birds, and stay with the same mate until one of them dies. When breeding, these birds put on a fantastic display. I know the next breeding season, I'm going to a spot I know of where some nest, and I've seen them flying around in those little circles and aerials, in big groups, like a bunches of them, but then I also can see some of the nest in the higher parts of the trees, which is where they tend to put their nest, which is in really high spots. They like that, and I'm going to watch and observe for when two red tails lock their talons together mid-air and dive downward like crazy love Lovers, then I might follow them, which would be like really creepy. Anywho, I digress. These suckers can live about 20 years in the wild, and this is kind of like based on a study of like 5,000 of them, and only 11 of them live to be more than 20 years old. But I mean, it's a study, there could have been variables, I didn't really research deep into the study, but that's just one thing. And also other websites said around 20, 21 years, so I'm gonna stick, I'm, 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 I'm gonna go with the overall consensus of what these people who have spent their lifetime studying these birds have had to say. Red-tailed hawks have shown the ability to become habituated in almost any habitat present in North and Central America, and its conservation status is in the least concern category, meaning that they're doing pretty freaking good for themselves. You don't gotta worry about them. Though, like all birds of prey and many other birds in the United States, they are protected by the Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1918, and it's illegal to hunt or kill them. These birds are often used in falconry, but that's a whole nother story. I would also like to get into the evolution of these birds and all birds as well, but I'll save that for a different episode. This was a video essay written by me, Andrew Hasley, and it's from the 12th episode of Snap De La Nature. If you haven't seen the full episode, go watch it right now. Uh, there's a storyline where I turn myself into a squirrel, and there's two other topics where I go into just as much detail. And I hope you like, subscribe, follow, do whatever. Do whatever. Every single month I am releasing a new episode of Snap De La Nature. It's just getting better and better. The stories are getting more interesting. The plots are thickening. The plot is thickening, and the facts are getting better. And the research and the, the nature knowledge and on the Facebook page I post a bunch of cool nature photos that I found on the internet so go 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 follow that real quick and a bye a bye I'll talk to you guys later see you next time